Okay, I've not recorded much Skyrim footage via Bandicam, so hopefully this works. But this game is very similar to the type of game I would like to create, um, in that it has an open world that you can interact with. Um, obviously my game is going to be a much, much smaller scale, but this is definitely one of the games that is a big influence on on me and the type of things I would like to put into the game engine, the Unreal game engine. Uh, it has a beautiful, absolutely beautiful world. Um, I've modified this a little bit. I've added some add-ons that make it look a little bit nicer. I'm going to have to adjust the volume here a little bit because it's pretty loud. Because I was, um, let's see, we're going to knock down footsteps way down, effects down. Uh, we won't wind up. Music, let's go way down. Okay, hopefully this is not going to be too loud. And there's a giant right in front of me. Don't really want to get attacked by him. Okay, so. It looks like the recordings might be affecting the, the uh, frame rates a little bit here. But as you can see, Skyrim is a absolutely beautiful game. Um, you see a beautiful sky. The moons, the clouds that are moving through the sky. Um, this isn't the best lighting right now in the game. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait to save 52 p.m. We're going to knock it up to about, let's see, let's do about four hours. Six hours. We're going to wait six hours. And you'll watch as the color changes here. We're at, okay, we're going to do... Let's just do five more hours. Get it up to 7.52 a.m. when the sun's up. And there you see... Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm also... I'll try to do this. I think it's... Let's see... Oh, let's not do it that much. You can change the field of view. Um, the only reason I don't like to do this is it seems to distort the images a little bit, but this does allow you to get a a much bigger view. Um, let me get more of the world into your camera. Um, I can zoom in all the way. People who've played this game know how to know how this works. Um, wow, that water's really loud. Um, one of the add-ons I have is that when I go into the water, I'm trying to go underwater, but I guess the water's so shallow. I so said when I go in the water and come back out, I'll be wet. So maybe not doesn't look like that add-on has turned. Oh, I know there's some water dripping off me there. Um, and if I was on like a, like a some sort of an area where you can see my footprints, I believe I would leave like wet footprints. Um, and this is my area where I dump all my crap. <laughs> so you can see this is just tons of stuff I picked up that I'm just kind of storing here in this empty shack. I usually pick a place in the game where I store my items. So we still have more to zoom out a little bit. The cool part about this game is that everything you see in the world, you can go to. And this is what's very intriguing to me. Um, I mean, look how beautiful the mountains are. You see that mountain in the background. You could actually walk up to that mountain, and you could try to scale it all the way to the top. Some of the mountains, you can't actually get to the tops of them. Um, there's, you know, other effects in the game. Steam, you know, steam uh, hot springs and stuff like that. There's dragons. Um, there's a beautiful bridge up here. Uh, one of my favorite parts of the game is using my bow because and I don't have my skill up all the way yet but once you get your skill up high enough you can really do some amazing sh bow shots um, I can shoot birds right out of the air like eagles will fly over and I can literally shoot them right out of the air which is a little, a little tricky but I'm able to do it um, it takes some practice um, you can mine ore you can craft armor you can you can craft even arrows you can get 
um, bird feathers off the ground that you find, um, and you can use those with uh, wood and different things um, to try to craft yourself arrows. I'm in sneak mode right now. You can just see it's, it's just a gorgeous game. Let me turn the music up. And I'm going to turn down some of the... Uh, let's turn the effects down a little bit. Turn the music up. I'm not sure what is the, the the water from the river. I'd like to be able to turn that down, but I don't really know how to do that. So, <laughs> in World of Warcraft, it's just environment sound. But I was going to try to shoot the fox here, but he he seems to have run away from me. But you can just see that the the game is gorgeous. And because this is a colder, snowy, snowy region, got a little bit of a cold mist coming out of my mouth. Again, that's an add-on that I've installed to do that. I'm pretty sure. Um, gonna harvest some flowers. I like to sneak around a lot because when I sneak around, um, my skill goes up. Um, instead of just walking normal like this, or even just running, I can hold down shift here and run. This doesn't improve my uh, my sneak skills, so I like to I like to sneak. What's funny is when I started the game, I didn't have any armor, didn't have any weapons, and the first really nice weapon I found was off this statue, so I defiled. <laughs> um, you can see that there is a actually there is let's see there's a war hammer, but I think there was a sword here um, that I took from this guy, and you can see that he is. Let's see if it says what he is. Uh, let's see. Oh, I thought it actually said, I guess it's a statue of Talos. There it is, the Shrine of Talos. You can actually activate it and get some, get a blessing. Um, I was hoping to find something to shoot my arrows at here. But now we're moving into a snowy region. So this is kind of, it will be fun. I believe since we're in a snowy region and we go in, oh, here we go, Mr. Fox. See if I can get a nice shot off. Ooh, he really took off. He ran into the water. That fox really wanted to get away. He's still there somewhere. They don't disappear. Hmm. Interesting though. They usually don't just jump in the water and disappear. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and swim. Is that him? I missed, but that is the fox. Don't think I can hit him from here. We can give it a go. Shot right over him. There's Mr. Fox. I guess you can see I'm very cold. <laughs> That was some cold water. Yeah, it's not doing the effect though where it makes me almost look frozen. I think it has to do with the wind. I had it happen to me earlier where I came out of cold icy water and it was in a, on a hill, a hill, the slope of a hill and it was really windy and I, my whole body looked like it was covered in like a layer of ice. It was pretty cool. <laughs> so we're just going to run around a little bit. Oh, there it is. See, so now you can see it. Where it looks like I've just kind of frozen over because that water that was on my body just froze. Uh, you can see there's the footprints in the snow. Um, again, I believe that's another add on I've turned on or installed. Uh, I was hoping there's a way around this building, around the castle keep, but there isn't, so we have to run back. One thing that would be in my game that's not in this game is that these water, the water and stuff, you would freeze to death. So there is definitely going to be a survivability aspect to the game I want to create. Um, there's going to be uh, there's going to be effects on your gear. 
uh, waters could cause your armor to rust if your armor isn't if you don't take care of your armor. Um, a lot of stuff that's in my game, a lot of people probably won't like um, because it's going to take a lot of time. You're going to have to. It's it's going to be. You're going to have to maintain things. You know, you have to feed yourself and take care of your armor and sharpen your sword and all those types of things that wouldn't happen in the real world. Uh, it's a more realistic take on adventuring. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to take almost like Dungeons and Dragons and make it into like a little bit of a a very small scale uh, demo, almost demo of a game. Um, and and just to try to get something that's very immersive uh, that somebody would play and would enjoy playing um, but wouldn't feel like they were losing their life because these types of games, unfortunately, to make them that immersive is you almost feel like it's taking too much of your real world life, you know, your RL, and I, I don't want it to be quite like that. I'm going to go ahead and steal this person's... <laughs> I'm going to steal this person's crops. Um... Looks like I stole a lot of it earlier, <laughs> a lot of the wheat. <laughs> but all the food you gather, you can use to craft, you know, make food and stuff. So it's very, and, and potions, and it's very useful. Okay, we are here. I wonder if I can, I'm going to go, I'm going to I'll go to fast, fast travel to the, this hideout here. You can fast travel from one place to another if you've already cleared the area. Let's see if I can make my way through the mountains, because it'll be um, kind of nice to see. You get a chance to see the the wind howling through the mountains, which I always think is a really nice effect. So I'm going to try to head over this mountain here. We need to get to this custom den destination, which is the Dark Brotherhood. I've been given the task of trying to find the entrance to the Dark Brotherhood and try to to basically become an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, which is a band of assassins who take contracts. Now here's a, some ore I can mine. I'll go ahead and mine this. Uh, I'm gonna go. I may go ahead and upload this video, um, but I want to get a few more shots of the mountain, which I haven't gotten there yet. So let's see if I can expedite and sprint up this. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, this guy could really kill me, but let's go ahead and give it a go. We're gonna go with the shield, and the sword. Oh, apparently my proficiency with, with sword and board is better than I realized. Because I just took him to school. And he killed some poor person on the road. This poor guy just got killed by by that dude. Um, oh, he's got a huge knapsack. That's actually a nice item. Um, another cool thing about this game... Ooh, look at that. It's even imprinted with the logo of the game Skyrim. Uh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to grab that. Um, you, you, the cool thing about this game is there is so much stuff, uh, so much armor and stuff, that it totally changes the way you look, you know? So my, my armor right now is stuff I actually got off of a off of a vampire. <laughs> I killed a vampire and stole his clothes, and this is what I look like. Uh, but I really liked his clothing, so I'm sticking with it for now. Okay, we've got to try to scale this mountain. This could be very challenging. Well, let's give it a go. No, oh, I need this plant. No, it's not a plant. Never mind. That is. A little thistle. Okay, yeah, it looks like there should be a way around. The... Let's do it. I hear a wolf or something behind me. But we're just going to ignore that. I don't know, maybe not. I'm going to try to block him with a few of his attacks here to increase my block. And I'm blocking terribly. Never really used a shield in this game much, so this is a new thing for me. Alright, you're going down. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, wolves are pretty, pretty weak. But I let him get a few licks in. Okay, I'm going to run up here a little bit. This is where you can see the view looks a little distorted. That's because I've moved my, my field, made my field of view a little bit higher. Let me take a look at the map. Okay, Ooh, we need to get over to this Dark Brother Sanctuary. Dark Brotherhood. This is going to be tricky, really tricky. Okay, I think we can get around this way. I just wanted to see if it was okay if I had dropped over the corner here, which I think it is. Oh, she's really getting winded here. And what is the name? I don't remember the name of my character. And you can die very easily by falling off great heights, but if you just jump a lot, you can kind of stick on these rocks pretty well. I think I can get across this uh, water here. Yes, this is what I wanted to get to. Do not want to fall off this waterfall. Don't fall. Okay. We're going to make a very tricky attempt to scale the edge of these cliffs here. I'm quite the mountain climber. Again, notice the very absolute gorgeous scenery. Very, very beautiful. <laughs> oh, we've got ourselves another fox. So let's... Let's be mean. I hate to be mean, but this helps skill up my bow attack, so. Let's see if we can get in for a shot here. Oh, I shot right over him, I guess. Okay. I hate to be mean looking at the physics of the engine lets him roll down the hill. This is quite a steep hill, so he may roll a little bit. Mm. Ooh, and he even bled out. Look at all the blood that kind of pulled up. But the fox pelts, the wolf pelts, those things I can use to make leather. And I need the leather to make leather strips, and I need the leather strips to make different types of gear. So there's a there's a method to my madness. <laughs> um, okay, I believe... Is that really where I want to go? No, that's not correct. Um, no, it's got to still be this way. No, that's not correct either. Oh, it's easy to get turned around here. This is the actually the direction I want to go, and that's going to be tricky. Well, let's try it. Can we get over this mountain's hill here? We'll do our best. Hmm, this may be difficult. We can't go too far oh, because of the water. If I can get at this little area here, yeah. Just got to get to the top. Just got to get over this bridge. Grab those flowers while I'm at it. Okay, this looks good. This looks passable. Okay, cool, yeah. We've even found the actual path that you were supposed to actually use. They put little paths on these mountains that kind of are guiding paths to say, hey, yeah, this looks like a path. You can see I'm following it right now. And I grab some more flowers for my alchemy. Again, absolutely gorgeous. Now, if I change the, F of the field of view back, I believe 65 is the default. Notice how it doesn't look so... I guess it's just somewhat so far back, but it doesn't look quite so stretched. Let's make it 100. 100 is not too bad. Okay, we're actually right on target. We're going to harvest some mushrooms here. Right on target for where we need to be. Absolutely beautiful world. It's just so amazing. Um, this game, um, there's a demo, an Unreal 4 game engine demo, 
called uh, you know the flying kite demo that they created for one of the uh, you know game conferences and that kite demo the world in that one was 10 times the size of Skyrim so when you look at Skyrim I can't really zoom out but I don't think you can not with this without the map add-on but it's 10 times the size of this this world and this world's pretty large when you start taking a look around this is a pretty big world it's such a beautiful game okay now let's check the map real quick we are heading in the right direction We're just going to see how fast we can get there without stopping for anything. Try not to get attacked. <laughs> oh my god. And even just the the brightness as I come up the mountain, you just see me walking into the as the higher elevation. I'm starting to get to where the sun's actually coming through the trees and attention to detail, the dead wood. I mean, I, I, there's no need for me to really talk about Skyrim. This is a game that everybody knows about. This is probably the, the best open world game. Uh, I, by opinion, the best one that's ever been created. Ooh, let's see if we can hit a bunny with a bow. Oh, he's kind of stuck there. For some reason, I lost my aiming cursor. That's fine. Okay, the sound means that I'm getting close to something that probably wants to kill me. Maybe not. I don't see anything. There's got to be something down below or above me that wants to kill me. This is the combat song that plays, I think. And we've gone far enough away from that danger that music has changed. Ooh, there is some sort of village or something ahead. Let's see if we can... And there are multiple moons in this game, which is another really nice feature. And a nice touch to the world. Oh, we have we found a whole other village. Don't know if I don't think this is the type of village that wants to attack me. Ooh, yeah, maybe it is. Mm, no, we should be okay. Have anything interesting to tell me? The Greybeards are a strange bunch. I heard they live their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? I so, wish I could go with you. So this is some of the crops that I was talking about that you can actually steal, which I feel kind of bad, but this stuff actually is useful. I can use this to make food and stuff. And Anyways, I'll steal it later. <laughs> I can't imagine how exciting it must be to journey from place to place. You're so lucky. Okay, we've got to get around this mountain. You can see I'm working my way south. Then I'll have to cut across through the mountain pass. So, I'm actually going to stop the game here, or stop right now, because I want to put this video up for my friend, my girlfriend. <laughs> um, she had kind of requested to to get a little video. I want to put this up for her, see if she uh, she really likes um mountains and, and the outdoors and I, I really think that she'll oh there's a bear around here I know there is because I've been in this part of the game before oh wow there's an elk hold everything oh I didn't want to shoot there goes an arrow all right well, we'll try to get to that guy in a minute let's stop the video that would be quite a shot
Okay, I fell very short, I think. Oh, wait a minute. This is a hit. Oh. <laughs> yes, that was quite a shot. Not a super, super difficult shot, but it was a pretty good distance. And I think we'll stop recording at that point. So I hope you